Let's go. To be young. To be young. Oh, what's happened, babe? Uh. We are Georgia and Diego. And this is our home, Unforgettable. For the past five years, we've been sailing the planet. Our challenge now is to continue the adventure as our family grows. Subscribe and join our life at sea. Good morning, my love. <laughs> Good morning. Today we have a great day expecting for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello. I'm super excited. Today we're gonna have a great, great day. We are going to Amotu. That's an island close by. We're gonna take Isla for her first time on the water, on salty water, and it's super beautiful. Are you ready for your first island adventure, baby girl? Dinghy ride, swim on the ocean, dive with sharks. No, not 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 that much for you. Isla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just wake up, guys. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's get ready. Let's go. Check this out, how beautiful, and this is not our stop yet, it's just part of the way. I think we are pretty shallow, but the engine is still. I haven't touched the floor yet. <laughs> it's amazing how beautiful is it here. Oh, can't wait to leave the dinghy and just explore it. Isla is kind of sleeping right now. Wow. Check the landscape behind me, these mountains on the other side of the channel. Hey Isla, we arrived and you just woke up. Yeah. <laughs> we set our camp for this morning. Girls are here. Isla yeah. is super chill. Georgia not so much because she's afraid of our friend here, Fish Burger. <laughs> but he's super chill also. Right, Burger? Yeah, I just created this name. Okay, this baby's ready for her first time. Isla is getting spoiled from day one. 
Baby girl, I'm sorry to tell you, or I'm happy to tell you that it doesn't get much better than this. Look at the water that she's going in for the first time. Ta -da! Are you ready, girl? Oh, you cannot see anything with this head. Done. Are you ready? <laughs> é brisquinha, é brisquinha. No, look, she touches the sand and then she gets a bit scared when she touches the sand and she tries to move her feet. <laughs> but she doesn't complain, so I think it's just different. It's not that she... <laughs> it's weird, baby, that's sand. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, sand and rocks. <laughs> Time to move on and keep exploring Morea. I'm beyond glad that we found this little beach just for ourselves and of course for Fishburger and his mom. And yeah, I had a beautiful morning here. Your hair is a bit weird. Ma yeah. Well. You won't like it. <laughs> What makes these beautiful, beautiful pools is that we have the reef there outside, so it protects from the waves, making these nice lagoons. That's what I really love about French Polynesia, because in the lagoon there is no swell and the water is super clear. It's like oceanic water because the, the ocean is just right there, the open ocean, and so the water changes a lot. It's clear, it's clean, and it's calm. It's perfect. It's the perfect combination. Put them all together and we get this. Diego is dodging bummies. If you hit a bum, it's gonna be a bummer, right? Yes. <laughs> All right, we clear. We clear? We clear. Good job, Captain. We parked our dinghy here and came to this beach. Many, many things are still closed in French Polynesia. And we're hoping to get some lunch in this restaurant that we know it's open. Tell us what the poisson cru is. Poisson cru is like the most typical dish here from French Polynesia and it's based with raw fish and coconut milk 
But if you want the full recipe, you can check our cookbook. You uh, go to our website, unforgettablesailing.com, and you download for free our cookbook, and there's the recipe. And I think you want to regret this particular one. It's really good. Yeah, the fish is super fresh. Yeah. It's very easy to find Diego. I cannot lose them. I just look for this colored <laughs> umbrella and here they are. Is this like sleeping already? Yeah, nearly. She's getting there. Okay. Oh, should we just sit here for a bit? Yeah, wait for the food, digest, and then do some snorkeling. We don't need to snorkel because we can see everything from the top of the water. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so beautiful. Like, I'm good. I think I'm good with that, but Diego might jump into the water while I'll stay with Isla in the dinghy, just driving around so she's happy and sleeping. Look who's here. Hello, hello, friend. <laughs> situation here guys I'm feeding Isla because she was hungry and we are under the umbrella in a dinghy just waiting for Diego to come back from the snorkeling <laughs> oh, that's not bad actually it's a nice view we are in a good shadow oh good how was it? it was nice some red fish you see on the footage oh long day there's oh fuck. Oh, what's happened, babe? Uh, I stabbed myself in this ah. fucking useless piece of shit. Sorry for the language. Sorry, babe. Beep! Ah, but there's one last stop. You need to go to the small, tiny market, supermarket there. Ah. There's nothing at home. Yeah. We don't have bread, we don't have cheese. We just have rice and pasta. And okay, no sauce. jump in. We don't have rice anymore, by the way. We finished yesterday. Okay, so... Look how glassy it is! Yeah. Fantastic! Oh my gosh! This hotel behind me is one of the hotels that closed because of the pandemic. Well, I don't know if just because of the pandemic. But yeah, right now it's closed for good. So these cute bungalows on the water are not available anymore, guys. Empty again! I think we might have a new hole in our dinghy. Do you think so? Yeah. I think we should do a pit stop just to refill the dinghy. Yeah, out of sudden this got really... Look at this, it's super empty. Sorry Isla. I don't know if you remember, Diego did some patches on the dinghy and one of them is really good but the other is not so good so from time to time we still have to pump it. And today, I don't know what happened, it just like, yeah, it got flat really fast. Ah, oh, much better. I don't know, I don't know my heart at all. Being close, all this history in the way, there's more. I really like this. All over the place here in Polynesia they have, they have this uh, public piece and I think this one is made for the cruise ships but it's just like a very well made and very convenient and we know there's a tiny supermarket just like a five minutes walking from here. Cross my mind that I have lost myself 
Okay, I managed to get a few fruit and veggies. Well, not many, actually very few. That's what they had there. Eggs also, no rice, no bread, no what else? Well, no, every, all the other stuff. But anyway, we can survive with this for a few days and then we can go to a bigger supermarket in the end of the week, maybe in the other side of the island. But yeah, it's gonna, we, we are covered for a few days now. Look what I found here. Yeah, we've been here just chilling, talking, you know, those deep moments, father and daughter, talking about life and stuff. Very important. Yeah, she's mostly drooling, drooling herself, but... <laughs> okay, that's what I got. Not much, but we can survive for a few days now. Alright, let's look. Wow! People in it. Wow. I brought us a treat. It's to share. Uh, avocado, some veggies. No bread? Yeah. No, no bread, no mm. rice. Apparently rice is like uh, they're running out of rice in the whole Polynesia, like not only Tahiti, but here too. Wow. So that's a thing. <laughs> this is the map of Morea. Yeah. Can you show us what we did today? So we pretty much anchored close to number 15. A bit no, uh, in Bahia de Pohono. By the Pohono, yeah. So we crossed Bahia de Pohono and we came all the way to this two motus here motu iriora and motu farewa right there on the top he means you know here hold yeah. on yeah we went here we passed through this the barca de Ruaf. that's yeah. where we are right now and, then, and we uh, went all the way to motu chiahua motu farewan yeah, and then we just uh, play around there and then we had lunch more or less on the 25. where is 25 yeah uh, there and then we came back yeah. and here where we are, the Barca de Wharf. That's what it is, that's a wharf. Let's go home. That's it for today. And we are home. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like your day? Perfect, it was a great day, I really enjoyed it. Perfect weather, beautiful place. And now we cannot reach our boat. <laughs> okay, yeah. here we are. But I have to say, I'm quite tired. It was a long day. Yeah, it was a long day. And, uh, Man, we need to clean this. Look at that. How dirty. Sorry. But uh, yeah, Isla did well, huh? Yeah, she really well. She didn't cry. She stayed cool all day long. She's already a sailor. She is. Whoa, just in time. We arrive and it starts to rain. But there's a beautiful rainbow. Look at that. Shower time for Isla. Wash her very well from the ocean and then bed for this baby. That time. Yeah, she had a full day and now she's a bit stressed out, but she always relax on the on the bathtub. And I think that's it. It was a beautiful day. I could you say would you say that was an unforgettable day? Yeah, it you was. You understand that? Unforgettable day. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> thank, thank you so much for watching, guys. It was a pleasure to have you here following this amazing experience of our daughter and a beautiful day as a family. Thank you so much and see you next Thursday. Bye-bye. Remember to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.